Welcome to Keith and the Girl. I'm Keith Malley. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, another co-host for you. You've heard her before. You liked her. You know Soren and Jollis. What's well, the good one? Jollis. It's the good one. It's the good witch. <laughs> Jesse Jollis, how you doing? Really good. Feeling positive. Feeling light. Yeah. Feeling la- like I lost sort of the evil part of me that normally trails behind. You oh. know what I mean? <laughs> I follow you. <laughs> That's Soren. So we did pick the right one. Yes, you did. All right. Very good. <laughs> uh, filling in for uh, Hemda, of course. And you will like the guest as well. So it's a twofer. Joanna Hosman, how are you? I'm doing pretty great. I do have my evil side with me today, okay. unfortunately. Um, <laughs> it's just always within me. Joanna, you know? I've seen your viral videos and they're excellent. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> they're on Univision's bilingual digital platform. I listen to them in English. Of course. <laughs> the that platform is called Flama. Correct. And it's gotten over 40 million views featured on CNN, Huffington Post, BuzzFeed, NPR, BBC. Yeah, all those things are true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know all this about me. The bi-weekly show, Joanna Rants, alone has gotten over 15 million views. Yeah. You're not messing around. I'm not messing around. Honestly, no, I'm not. <laughs> Who uh, has time for it? I have no. a Venezuelan uh, friend, and Nana would send me uh, these uh, clips about Venezuela that you do, and uh, we enjoy them. Oh, really? Well, I'm sorry. It's always about Venezuela being a mess. Absolutely. I mean, honestly, <laughs> there's like, you can't talk about Venezuela without prefacing like, no, it's it's not it's not doing well at you, all. <laughs> you were born in Venezuela. Right? I was actually born in England. Okay. By accident, uh, my parents were studying in England, and I was born during spring break. But okay. <laughs> like Margaret Thatcher changed the law. Like I, I'm not a British citizen. I'm not a British citizen. Um, so for the longest time, I was only a Venezuelan citizen. And then like three and a half years ago, I became a U.S. citizen. Okay. Huge. So now I'm an American too. <laughs> okay. So you, you're out of Venezuela. Yes. Which is crappy. And now you're here during the election. <sighs> yeah. I have to say... And I've I've talked about this um, in some of my videos. I feel like there's a curse on my family because, like, um, my mother's side uh, escaped Fidel Castro during uh, during like well the Cuban Revolution. Right. My father's side of the family escaped Europe during uh, the Holocaust, and then we had to leave again, Venezuela, uh, and then now we're here. And now this election season has made me. Feel like um, <laughs> maybe it's me. Pack maybe your bags. it's us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, like when somebody says you, you'll know all the problems uh, Venezuela has? Uh, then if somebody says though, like for example, when I say it's crappy over there, do you feel like hey, am I supposed to defend it? This is my no. I mean. For the longest time, I'd be like, hey, I, yeah, it's bad, it's complicated, but there's so many beautiful things about it. And yeah, there are a lot of beautiful things about it, but the reality that's is that's where he wanted to go in the movie Up. The, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Venezuela is always like the, the reference country that is like vague enough that people don't associate anything to it. So right. it's like, oh, Venezuela, that country with the weird large spiders and the place where an old man wants to just travel right. to to see a waterfall. <laughs> um, but now the situation is just – it's so dire. Uh, it, it, it's it's really just absolutely devastating that I think it's it's wonderful that people know that it's it's crappy because right. uh, people need to know that it's 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 really really down the tubes, uh, <laughs> really bad. Yeah, I I heard going to and I'll get into more about Venezuela, but I heard in those airports sometimes you have to make deals with security they will fl- flat out steal your stuff is that true oh yeah well to be clear there's like right what, in- what are you bringing over to the country this and this ah wrong you're only bringing this right this, this stereo is mine now and um so money has lost its value so much that people are weighing money instead of counting it and to give you perspective as to how devastating the the shortages are uh people are stealing food over like cars and over money there's no food. There's, there's, people can't buy rice or chicken or anything. Like my family, 
has to stand in line for hours on end to just buy one thing, like the one product that's at that one grocery store. And picture the guy goes out. He comes back with the wrong thing. <gasps> oh, my God. All right. I said, with the olives in that's, it. And I, I, well, interestingly enough, there's probably no option. It's like, yeah. oh, you, only, you can only buy ketchup today. And they were like, all right, I guess I'll have eight because it's the <laughs> last time I'll find ketchup in a while. So wow. so the old man from Up gets to Venezuela and he's lying, in line for eight hours for a roll of cheese. I, I honestly think that's a more accurate descriptor right. of what the country is going through. Right. I'd like to do. I'd like to see a sequel. <laughs> right. Oh like, yeah. Of him just bummed out. Just like, is this is this what it is? What what's going on? Yeah. That's that's the real tearjerker. We thought the first <laughs> movie was sad. Yeah. <laughs> Started with a bang for sure. It, yeah. But the money is so messed up. Is this an exaggeration? It is cheaper to wipe your ass with money than toilet <gasps> paper. I've said that verbatim in a video because it is 100% true. The biggest bill in Venezuela is it's equivalent, the biggest bill, the biggest bill to like significantly less than a dollar. I think it's like five cents now. I I'm, right. I, I have to check because like every day it's different. Um, but it, yeah. And then it's, I mean, wow. it's just, it's just, you see people with like rolls and rolls and rolls of cash, but it's like it $3. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it means nothing. Um, so you got to think like the people that live below the poverty line, which is what, like any over, over half of the country, I'd say 80% of the country, even 90 at some point, um, just can't get basic goods. And, right. um, but ironically, uh, the comedy scene in Venezuela is exploding. Wow. So, well, yeah, well with about. depression. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, um, uh, all the interviews I have to do for back home, they're always like, so like, how, like, how do you attribute all of this, like, all of these problems, all of these trials and tribulations to then, a rise in the comedy world. Um, and I'm like, well, one, uh, <laughs> there's no like TV shows anymore because they're all censored. Right. Um, and two people need to express themselves. So stand up and like underground comedy has exploded. Um, and there's so many really talented comedians that are, that are back home and, and, and they're killing it. Um, uh, but they, they don't have the right to, you know, express their full opinion. Is it worth it? I mean, is it worth, I'm going to say, what, and I'm going to get to uh, your family members, but is it worth being a comedian over there and saying a point of view and and for what risk of getting, uh, it doesn't look like uh, yeah, this freedom of speech, never mind the murders and kidnappings. Mm -hmm. Why? What? What is so goddamn funny? You got to get out. Yeah, I think. People see it. I mean, as, you do your YouTube videos in a building, at least. Yeah, I do yeah. my I do my YouTube videos knowing that like I can leave the building, go to a subway, eat falafel, and go to sleep that day. Right. Um, and I am very aware. People, I get a lot of criticism saying like, you know, you're 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 talking about the situation, but you're not living it. And I'm like, I'm I, I agree, but I'm also living it in the sense that I'm in exile and and I can't go back to my country. Right. And I think that if I was in Venezuela, I I would. And, and a, a lot of people feel this have uh, I feel like a necessity to express what's going on and and to and to like feel it with your people right. because it's uh, it's the only thing people have in their minds is you they wake up in the morning it's so dangerous they can get kidnapped it's so dangerous they can get murdered it, I had a friend that was kidnapped there yeah no it, it's 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 insane how many people I know have been kidnapped it's in, it's insane. It's absurd. It's it's gotten to a point where it's like here it's like oh I got bar, I got a bar mitzvah. Right. I'm an adult and over there it's like well got kidnapped so I guess I'm an adult now. And it's it's just it's such a weird and when I moved here it was so Is that why you're in exile? Cuz you left? <laughs> um I'm in exile for several reasons. My father um uh my mom and my father are economists. My father is a a pre pretty well-known economist right. and um Harvard graduate. Uh, he's a Harvard professor. Okay. Um, and he writes a lot of articles about the economic situation in Venezuela. Um, he's he's a very outspoken este, uh, person against the Venezuelan government. Um, he thinks they're immoral. Uh, immoral. <laughs> That's a new word. <laughs> immoral and unethical. <laughs> immoral. Um, and does he live in Boston? That he's a Harvard yes, professor. Yes, he lives okay. in Boston. So he's but he's in exile um, because <laughs> the Venezuelan president. This is the second time, but last week he was like, uh, we need to capture and jail Ricardo Hausman. That's my dad's name. Right. We need to capture and jail him because he's waging an economic war 
on Venezuela. So he, to give you perspective, the, Vene the Venezuelan president blames my father, a, a Harvard professor who's just in Cambridge, just writing his little <laughs> articles and teaching these kids. Um, they, he blames him for the economic downfall of Venezuela. And that just goes to show how skewed and absurd their perceptions are of the world, one. And two, how facts don't matter. Right. When was he detained by Venezuelan police? So he was not detained because okay. he's in Boston and Harvard has come out to say like, uh, no, <laughs> yeah. you're not going to do that. And um, <laughs> actually, there's a hashtag going around the world in Spanish called Estoy con Hausman. And it's blowing up and it's um, people from all over the world uh, hashtagging for freedom of speech and, and showing support for my dad. Wow. But unfortunately, I have an uncle in Venezuela who does not have este, the luxury of being outside of the country. And um, he was detained. He was detained. Uh, there were protests in a place called uh, Yermosa in Margarita Island. Um, and he posted on his, um, he has a digital news newspaper. Okay. Uh, news sorry, blog. Uncle Hi, your dad's brother? My mom's brother. Okay. Um, and he posted videos of this protest and at night. Right. And then I think it was like at seven o'clock in the morning or eight o'clock in the morning, he was going to go to his radio show and he disappeared. And we were like, where? Did he go? He's a big man too. Like you can, you, you, he enters a room and you're like, oh yeah, what's up, Braulio? Like there you are. He <laughs> complete, like we had no idea where he was and we were freaking out. It's like, did he get kidnapped? Is he like, is this, is this the police? And it, it was the police. So now he's been in jail for, for over two months. Um, uh, and there's no trial set. We don't know what's going on. It's, uh, <laughs> It, it's insane to me that they're getting away with this. Right. Um, but that goes to show that uh, just because you leave your country and you make home in your other country, you know, a lot of people that have this dual identity, dual citizenship, um, you you suffer in a different way um, and you understand the world in a completely different way. So like this election in the United States, like I cannot believe I vote. I'm, I was so excited to vote mm -hmm. and I don't understand – I, I could not believe that people said that they weren't going to because I was like, I've never felt like my vote really counted back home. I've I've lived this right. tyranny for 16 years. and Do people not understand in America how bad it could be? Mm. I, I really don't. I think that the... Because Venezuela, I, I would think, I yeah. would imagine if I didn't have this friend that lived there, uh, that's where you go on vacation, that it's a paradise. It's one of the most dangerous places in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is one of the most... And it is... it. it What's frustrating is that it was seen as like the Switzerland of South America. It mm -hmm. had the most, it was 50 years of, of stable democracy. It was actually the most stable country in the region. It was also the richest country in the region. Right. You, it's under British rule, like you said, right? Or uh, not? No, 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 it's not. Was it ever? Uh, no, no, oh, okay. it was never. Um, it was, este, it was liberated by Simon Bolivar many years ago. And, um, it's the, has the largest oil reserves in the world. Right. Oh. So just to put that into perspective, the largest oil reserves in the world and people can't buy food and people can't go to school. And it's like, and this is, and why? Because the country fell in love with this, you know, charismatic non-politician who divided the country. Hugo Chavez. Yeah. So it, it was really frustrating because many, for many years, I'd come to the States and I'd go in a taxi cab and the taxi driver would always be like, Oh, Hugo Chavez, he's good for the poor. And I'm like, on, on paper, maybe, but not really because what he's doing is, um, give, so he was, he had these social programs where he would build homes and, and, you know, uh, they built schools, but they would put his face everywhere. And this isn't him donating his money to build a school and a home. This is him using natural, the natural resources of the country to build these schools and homes. So people start, started to idealize him like a god while he spurred at, like yes. spurted out all this like hate and, and he antagonized so many people in the country. He was super anti-Semitic. Um, he would say like that being rich is like the worst thing that you could be. But then ironically, right. his, uh, his daughter is the richest woman in Venezuela. Yeah, uh, she has billions of dollars. So I I'm always just taken aback by the contradiction um but also how intolerance and 
the the intolerance and and the division I saw in Venezuela, I I started started to see it here. Right. And how like uh, how politics takes over your life. Yeah. Versus like it's just this thing that's kind of like ugh, yeah, politics. We don't have to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Um I can I I want to go back to a time where politics isn't something that you need to talk about every day. Because in Venezuela, we've been talking about it every day for 16 years. Yeah, it is. You you don't realize uh, these, you know, you you don't think something, all right, uh, somebody can come in, they'll be president, who cares for four years. But if it can happen to another country, and it is happening, Mm -hmm. then then, uh, why couldn't it happen? Uh, Number one trending topic uh, today was hashtag I'm voting because. And I added to it. I said, I'm voting because it's so easy nowadays to do online with the hashtag of your choice and because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. So done. (laughs) I, uh, I went to vote, of course, today, and my wife, who isn't a citizen, can't vote, likes to come with me mm-hmm. and just see the process. How hard is it? You know, yeah. this kind of thing. How dumb are these people that can take the day <laughs> off? Because they're kind of dumb. Uh, but I brought the dog also, and they wouldn't let the dog in. Oh. So my wife had to wait outside with the dog. And I said to the security desk, oh, my dog was going to vote too. Mm-hmm. And they say, oh, no, the dog can't do that. <laughs> And I go, but she's registered. <laughs> and they go, no, I, I don't think she can vote. And I'm like, D- D- you're in this bill. Like, you know what I mean? Yes, I want to think voting matters, but these yeah. people can vote. No, unless, <laughs> unless like now I'm in, you know, time out in New York's dumbest things heard on the street. <laughs> but I, I don't think that's what it is. <gasps> but yeah, it was easy. There's no lines. There was no. Uh, you had no hassle. lines? No, not at all. Okay. That's crazy. Well, I, I, well, I pick my own school that I want to go to. Yeah, it's not necessarily they don't have voting signs per se. Right. I just go, ah, I'm going to take this one. <laughs> right, 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 right. I just, I find a box, I put a piece of paper right, in right. it. Right, right, yeah, for just sure. Just hope it's collected. Yeah. <laughs> It'll just, work, maybe. It'll work. You know, I, I remember I was, get, I was in this store, a Rite Aid, a pharmacy, and my wife wanted a hot water bottle. So I go, do you have hot water bottles? And the person says to me, no, only room temperature water bottles. And I'm like, you're voting. You're a voter too. You're like a voter a, just like me. Right, there's no test. Well, there is no test, and I'll, I'll say I that. Think that there sh- I honestly think that there should be. I've, I've, mm-hmm. I've said that, too. But I'm also like, I don't know if you can be, if I may, yeah. too stupid and get there. Like, I don't Maybe. know. You know, like, registering, it right. isn't that hard, but you have to do it. It's like, you have to you have to know s- some, you have to be able to fill stuff out. You have to, like, want to do it, you know, and then you've got to get to the place. I, you know. Well, but not even <laughs> that you want to do it, because at 18, yeah. it's mandatory to do it. What? What? Right? At least for men, because you have to sign up for a selective service, and that's oh, I it's th- mandatory. Oh. I think that's connected. I didn't know. I did, are you sure? Yeah, I yeah. had no idea. I did not know that. I did not know that. So, <laughs> if you ladies would have signed up for war, won't be. There doing may that. have been faster change. <laughs> wow. Well, who's to say? I don't know. But how crazy is it that, like, you know, I have I have people on my Facebook that post these like ridiculous articles from sites that are clearly not yeah. news sites, and right. like. They're, they've fed into bra- these brainwashed ideas yeah. and they have the same right to a vote as I do. Yeah. And I'm like, I feel like people should have to read like both sides. Like you have to read articles from Fox News and from, you know, right. NBC, CNN. You got to read both. Right. And then you got to choose. But like, I, I can't stand people that are like, they, this is the only thing they listen to. The only thing that they've been fed and then yeah. that's it. That's their opinion. They, they can't be like critical thinkers. Right. Well, my friend's writing in right now, by the way. Thank you, Joanna, for explaining uh, so clearly Aww. the situation. And thank you, Keith, for having her. People really have very little idea. Now, first of all. Did I have a thank you? Sorry. Did I get a thank uh, you? Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I like your outfit. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> um, the, so, so not right now because we're kind of busy for a couple of days. But what, what would Venezuelans like Americans to do? Stop letting Sean Penn go over there and make him look like good oh guys. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah, I would like famous Americans to stop coming. The other guy was like uh, Jamie Foxx mm-hmm. came and took a picture and like partied with Maduro, which is the current president and the successor of Hugo of, uh, Chavez. And Venezuelans were like, what are you doing, dude? You are <laughs> ruining all your movies for us. You're moving right. all your you're, – you're ruining all your music for us. Um and like I would say probably do not idealize. So uh, here's one thing. Like the American right and the American left hmm. is one thing. The left in the rest of Amer- uh, of the world isn't necessarily what you think the left is. 
So right. uh, yeah. there's a leftist dictatorship in Venezuela. That doesn't mean that like, you know, whatever you think good things about the left is what's happening in the country. No, that's not the case. This is not a fight between like left and right. This is a fight between right and wrong. And that's what I try to explain to my friends that are like, well, but like, I'm, you know, I am a Democrat and I'm like, doesn't matter. I'm a Democrat. I'm, I'm a leftist. Like I'm a Democrat center left right. person <laughs> here in the United States. Back home, I don't really have a choice. <laughs> I yeah. wish I did, but, um, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I, I, it's just impossible for me to vote for people that put people in jail for speaking out, speaking their mind. Um, I also think that like there's this Cuba is like, you know, a hot topic now and like everyone wants to go to Cuba, which I think is fine. But like I saw the Kardashians going to Cuba and I was like, no, I can't, <laughs> I, I, no, I cannot believe this is happening. And like there was a quote from Kim Kardashian that was like, oh my God, it's so magical. It like it hasn't changed in decades. <laughs> right. It's so cool. And I'm like, yeah, because people are repressed there and they can't leave. And it, People, if, like, if they speak their mind, they go, they are again put in jail. So, like, there's this idealization, this romanticism of Latin America, and especially mm -hmm. the Latin American left that is just exhausting. And it's, um, we, we just, we just got to break that. So that's what I'd say to Americans is like, what you think left and right is in the world, it's not the case. There's, there's mm -hmm. many more layers and more complex issues at hand. So I'd say. I would say to that country, behave. Wow. Oh, yeah. That okay. was, I think that that needs to be said. That scared I think me that a little would, bit. Yeah. I saw you jump. <laughs> and I get that. <laughs> behave. Just oh, behave. I, uh, I saw these pictures online of Trump going to the polls, which uh. is exciting because you could hear everybody booing him. <laughs> like, well, you know what? Even yeah. if you're in a little bubble and you're like, hey, every, every four years there's going to be haters. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, you got to realize this is a little different, right? They're saying a dude, honey. They're saying huge. <laughs> okay, very good. Just coming through. Very good. Okay. Uh, here's a picture of him casting his ballot along with his wife. Just look how he's looking I over that little that. little partition. Like, are you? You better be voting for me. <laughs> it's also I'm like, like doesn't, two. he doesn't trust her. Or no, what? he doesn't. I mean, clearly he doesn't. <laughs> Because why else would he be looking? Unless he's yeah. cheating on a test. <laughs> yeah. Which right. he could be cheating. He's like, which one's my name? <laughs> I'm listed in three different parties somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Help. <laughs> uh, and then here's his son with looking <laughs> the over. The same. The same look at his wife. I don't What like is it. going on? <laughs> what do you think that is? He, he, they're thinking, I want to respect our wives, but you have to vote for the way you're supposed to. I mean, nobody respects <laughs> women. More, More than he does. So yeah, I you mean, can see that. That's, you know, that's according to to um, the debate, you know, and yeah, I, right. I believe everything it says, you know. Yes. And then the wife filled out the ballot and it's a tall, ridiculously huge ballot, what? right? Yeah. Uh, then she folds it and hands it into the. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, my oh. God. That would have been amazing. <laughs> that would have made me. That would have made me so happy. She's like, there's two sides to it. And she yeah. like wrinkles it up to hand yeah. it over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. By the way, who just realized there's two sides to it? Anybody? Oh, uh -oh. no. Uh -oh. We had to do I mean, both. I'm good. I think I'm good. I looked on the back. I'm like, what if? Huh? Oh, well, there it is. If? <laughs> I just didn't understand why it's so huge. I'm like, what are we doing with paper right now? Right. What are right. we doing? <laughs> why? We can't make this a little smaller? <laughs> just a, no. like a little bit. Just make it like a note card. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was a joke. I thought it was like a little laugh at first. Like, right. oh, for people who can't see when we go there and it's actually teeny weeny. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, sure. <laughs> but why is it that big? Yeah. Right. These no. pictures I'm seeing are looking so huge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jefferson Riley is a Republican mayor running uh, in Mansfield, Georgia, and he sent out on Facebook, remember the voting days, Republicans vote on Tuesday the 8th and Democrats <gasps> on Wednesday the 9th. No. Is that Stop. illegal? Is that allowed? Uh, he ended up taking happen? down his Facebook account, but that's, I don't know. Can you do that? Why not? What? <laughs> that is... If you're so confused, then uh, don't be part of it. I mean, well... Here's the thing. I feel like the only people that follow him 
would be Republican, right? Right, Like, right. I feel like no Democrats like, let me get my, let me get my news and my uh, voter information from this guy. But you know that those the people that are seeing it are barking at other people like, no, you're tomorrow. Uh-huh. Like, do you yeah. see the thing? <laughs> yeah. Like, what's your source? Like, a source. Like, get out of here. Or a Facebook post. Yeah. But the, how weird it is at those polling places where everybody oh thinks God. they're on the same side. Fuck yeah, good turnout, all of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's just like a lot of thumbs up. (laughs) No, I would start walking. Well, you would see people uh, send out these, uh, you know, tweets and Facebook messages. Oh, I heard the dumbest thing on the street today. So I deliberately start saying dumb things on the street (laughs) because I want to be in people's comments. I'm like, a girl president. Can you fucking imagine? And I know I'm I know I'm listed somewhere now. So it's exciting. Good for you. Uh, Libby had a big uh, happy cry about seeing all these people uh, on Clinton's side, right? Your aunt, your grandma, probably. Yeah, all these people getting yeah, together. But sure. Your dead aunt, your well, dead grandma. I think grandma. she would be on her side. Uh, d- wearing a blouse for the <laughs> suffragettes, wearing a uh, blazer to represent the pantsuit. But I got nervous. Like the, I said, why were you crying? Is it because oh. you're worried about Trump or is it a happy cry? And she said it's a happy cry. Yeah. This is why it makes me nervous, ladies. That you cry when you're happy. And I'm afraid somebody's going to say, yes, Mrs. President, we will sign that bill into law. And she'll just burst into tears. First and of all. that's not what we need. Now, I know I know you're right. She's she's not menopause. She's dry. No, she I was going to say, what's cry. wrong with, what, what is wrong with crying? Why are we picking crying apart? If you cry, first of all, you care. Okay. I want to see some men cry. I want to see some people cry. Also, have you seen how many times Obama has cried? Yeah, and we love it. We're like, it's, it's oh my like, God. When a woman does it, it's like, she's weak. She's she has no weak. backbone. She's a bunch of water filled with hair and boobs. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, I don't get it. Like, I, cr- It's so beautiful to happy cry. I don't think there's anything more beautiful. I be almost a- cry more when I'm happy crying because I'm happy that I'm I don't crying. trust people that don't cry ever. I'm no. like, what is wrong with you? You're a sociopath? Mm-hmm. I love it. I, I see people cry and I'm like, I feel you. I hope every deal with a, another major country, she cries. I I cry. I cry all the time. I cry when I watch Undercover Boss. <laughs> like every single episode of Undercover That's Boss, my like my boyfriend is always like, "Why do you watch that?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Because I just like she got her house paid mm-hmm. for, you know, by the CEO." <laughs> Um, it's great. Yeah, so I, I trust people that cry. When you voted for Hillary, did you pick it under working families? Get more bang for your buck? Mm, let be another four years, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, you know, ask guys how to vote. They'll tell you. That would have been the right way. But, all right. This is very exciting. Of course, Hillary's going to win. Are we nervous? I... <sighs> Uh, Don't even put it out there. Well, I just... Let's, get, let's do it. I Let's do it. I think we're doing it, but let's do it. I think... Um, here's what I feel. I feel like it should be a landslide. Yes. And the fact that it is probably not going to be a landslide right. is troubling to me. Yeah. It's like, uh, I, 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 it's like, it's like when you study really, really hard for a test and you're like, I deserve, I deserve an A. And if I get like a B plus, honestly, I'm not going to be happy about it because yeah. like, I studied my butt off. That's what I feel like right now. Right. It's like, I feel like we should really, like, I feel like America should, should choose this this route the right answer the r- yeah because i think this is going to go down in history i really do yeah. think as as a like a, a very divisive election that um that the other side like represents i think something that isn't american jesse yeah. had a dream that there was another <laughs> american civil war i know really did you, well, jo- just did be- you join a side uh, i was like this would happen because you know, like Trump wouldn't be like, oh, great. Or like, of course, right. like we're, you know, I'm just like, I don't trust him. I think he's an idiot. And he he even said like at the whatever speech after like, uh, yeah, I'll support uh, as long as I win, which I'm like, mm-hmm. that's the whole right. point. You dumb <laughs> idiot. That's why you don't even know what a democracy like is. Why are you doing this is what I wanted to ask. But then, yeah, I had a horrible dream that like then he was like, well, then I will start my own like thing. Which, well, yeah, exactly. Well, and to go off that, it's like, I think that no matter what the result is, unless there's something weird, actually, go, like, whenever we have to recount the Florida votes, like, right. I, I, I don't think I'm going to go out and protest if, you know, Trump wins because I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to protest to myself, but like, because I don't, I wouldn't want them to protest if Hillary wins. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like there's going to be riots. I don't know. I feel like people are going to be super mad. And 
I just, I, I can't believe that someone would put into jeopardy the perception of, of how fair democracy is in America. And yeah, electoral votes make it weird. And some states, your vote counts more than others. Yeah, that's weird. But you can't say that, like, if you lose, it's because of a conspiracy. That's right. so irresponsible. It's right. so irresponsible. And by the way, if you have a state like New York and you're thinking, wow, well, why bother voting? I don't know what gauntlet you think you have to go through to vote, by the way. A, like I mentioned, you get off work. If you're paid by salary, they don't take it out of your cut because no. you voted. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you know, go and do it. And then wouldn't it be fun to watch the TV go, oh, look at this, 100% of New Yorkers. Wouldn't yeah. that be fun? That you're, you, Those people that, that don't think that way, you're the kind that watch a football game and your team's winning 1,000 to zero and you're like, this is boring. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> In 1992, five whole women were elected to the Senate. It was dubbed the Year of the Woman. Oh, whole women God. or half women? Whole women? We, whole women. Got whole it. Women. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> oh, God. It's crazy. I mean, I think that it's important to remember that there is hate everywhere for things. Like, I'm sure there will be protests because some people are just filled with anger and hate. But I think there's going to be more excitement. And that cancels yeah. out to me. Yeah. Like, I remember where I was when Obama won. And I remember, like, I was in college and everyone was in cars and everyone was celebrating. Now I was like, I'm a part of history, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that's going to happen again tonight. Right. I pray to God. Well, they say a woman can do anything a man can do, but let's, let's hope not, right? <laughs> Some bad things have been happening. Yeah, yeah. actually. Right? Let's hope yeah. they're not even... I mean, think about it. Trump, who's an idiot, was able to beat out like 17 other men republicans and hillary a woman i feel confident has not like during the debates led him to to hurt himself which none of the men were able to do yeah no she was very strategic, strategic yeah. in what she asked and what she brought up one yep uh and at no point was she rude nope um or like questioned the size of his hands <laughs> exactly <laughs> I mean, what a yeah. smart, powerful woman. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, they took away Donald Trump's Twitter from him <laughs> because they were like, we don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> so this guy might have the power to wage war. Like, right. what is that? What is that? That's insane to me. It's insanity. It's insanity. Yeah. Well, quite honestly. You don't think they would give him a, a, a fake briefcase? Probably. I bet it looks like a toy. It's probably yeah. like so light. And they're like, just pretend it's heavy. And he's like, what? <laughs> like, I can't. Well, you know what I heard? It around. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to put this here. He carries it to meetings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, apparently, uh, I think it was his son was like trying to get the, his vice president. And um, I don't remember who they asked to be vice president. But his, his name is Eric Trump, right? Eric? Mm -hmm. Eric was like, um, you would be the most powerful vice president in the world. Yeah. Because, and like, what what does that mean? Let's unpack that. It means right. like Donald Trump wouldn't know what to do as president. So the vice right. president would probably step in and do most of the work. Right. What? How it's like fun. you're voting for the substitute teacher. What do you do? What is that? Yeah, she's going to be sick. Like, the teacher's going to be sick a lot, so you'd be here more. It's like, okay, well, can't you just hire me then? Because <laughs> then I'll just run the class. Like, what is happening? If people are saying that, like, my dad's an idiot, so you'd have more power. It's like, well, let's take the idiot out of the equation and make sure the person who's in charge of the country knows what they're doing. That's and me, though. And whatever happens in the United States <laughs> affects so many other countries, right. everybody's looking to see what's going on. It's like if you see what happened at, in, in Brexit. Like right. Brexit is an example of a vote people thought was going to go one way and it went the other way. And it and was... And even the people that voted, it sounds, some knee-jerk reaction and they all regretted it. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because th apparently there wasn't enough information about what what it meant. Then definitely check it. Yeah, then probably like Google it, maybe. <laughs> just literally just go into Google and say, hey, what would Brexit do? <laughs> and, then you're and then you're done. You know, there's a YouTube video of it where fast cuts. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Well, there's jump cuts. There's jump cuts. Yeah. Uh, and I think, uh, but I do believe that people do have the information at their disposal here to make a decision. Uh, I don't think that 
that like if if Trump does win, I I don't feel like people would be like, but what he was he was a he was a misogynist racist. Where did this come from? Like, no, we know that. We know that. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Yeah. Uh, in Britain, the Google searches for what is the EU spiked after the polls closed. What, what's in what's in those talking about? Then why would you check mark it? Uh, and and to be clear, the um the platform that was basically for the Brexit um was incredible. It's very similar to like Donald Trump's uh platform. It's anti-immigrant. You know, it's like purist. It's like, yeah. you know, we shouldn't be letting these people into our country. Um, and it, 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 it's insane that that side, like, won. And, like, people my age that live there are like, well, I guess now um, I got, like, all the things that were good about the EU for me yeah. are gone, honestly. I can't go work in Spain. Well, in Spain, you can't really find a job. I can't go work in Germany now if I don't. I can't yeah. do it. There were people that lost their jobs. They didn't know they were voting against their own job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, it's, and then, they, then what's even crazier than that? They admitted that on the news. How would I know about that? Be embarrassed. You got. It's what like, happened to shame? There's no shame. Go home with the bottom line and be like, mm, I lost my job. I'm yeah. a piece of shit. This Don't is be- on me, literally on me. <laughs> right. I yeah. fired myself. <laughs> That's what I did today. I'm going to leave myself a good recommendation why I yeah, had to let myself for go. For sure. Exactly. <laughs> in my defense, I didn't know what I was doing. Like, what if you said that at work? It's like, well, then you're an idiot and I have to fire you. No, my <laughs> boss is the idiot. Me, basically. <laughs> Boy, Bay. Uh, uh, can I get unemployment? I fired myself. Yeah. I fired myself. Ooh. Oh, man. Well, this is it. Are you uh, tonight? Are you? Do you guys watch it on TV? Or will be too much stress? You have to watch it. I gotta watch yeah. it. I really wanted to go to a party, right? Because I'm an extrovert and I I just need people around mm-hmm. me all the time, especially when I'm stressed out. Uh, but my boyfriend is a is an introvert, and he's like, I I don't think I can handle being around so many people and also being stressed out. So I'm like, I guess we'll be at home with a bottle of wine. Right. I went to a party once. First of all, the, by the time this show's over, they'll have the answer. But I went to, uh, a, you know, I remember going to the polls, you know, in the evening, filling out my paperwork. I come home, turn on the TV, they have the answer. I'm like, oh, you'll be looking through my substitute, whatever the fuck, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, this just in, the Mallies came in through New York. Uh, so anyway, I went to one of these uh, parties for the primaries when it was between Clinton and Bernie, and I was, mm-hmm. uh, was definitely pro Bernie. But before they even start officially bringing the numbers in, Clinton's brother Michael, who was running this party, says, "Now listen. No matter what happens, even if it's bad news, this is not the end of our." Ma-. And then goes on for like five minutes. This is not the end. We are the next thing we do is uh, for somebody like Bernie in the next four years. I'm like, you just ruined this whole party. Yeah, like you could have you could have stopped me at the door and go. I, I read things ahead of time. It's no good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are we oh, What are man. we doing? Yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? At least the primaries, though, were like, okay. I mean, I I I was always a Hillary fan, but and I I do understand my Bernie right. my Bernie people. But it was kind of like, okay, well, now this is our duty yes. to do this. It's our duty. because And like what I say is like, it's your duty as a, as a citizen to to vote for, honestly, the non-apocalypse. Um, <laughs> it's your duty. And um, I loved seeing so many Bernie, Bernie supporters who I, I think at the beginning were really like hesitant to yeah. rally behind Hillary, really – pull it together and be like, all right, this is what we got to do as a country. Do I like it 100%? No, I don't like it 100%, but I don't like war 100%. And my grandfather did that. So right. um, I think it's great. I think it's super, like, I, I was worried for a second. And then I was like, oh, no, my my peeps, right. my peeps showed up. Yeah, it'll be okay. Thank God. Hopefully, please. God. <laughs> <laughs> We're knocking on wood here. I'm so here. scared, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was saying yesterday, you know, if you don't know how to vote, and you know, you got shit to do. I get it. You don't think you saw enough sound bites? Look at who the smartest people you are, you know, are. Right. And go that way. Look at who the dumb people are voting for. Go that way. Look at some of these rallies yeah. and go that way. You'll, you'll do that for sports teams. I hate the Mets. Why? I hate their fans. Right. Yeah. That's you know what so I mean? funny. Like, oh, McD- somebody was telling me the other day, uh, you know what? You pick on McDonald's, Kate, but McDonald's is just as healthy as any other food. Walk into a McDonald's and look around. <laughs> 
Then walk into a Whole Foods and look around. Right. That, that, look at the people supporting uh, your decision. How many yeah. people are in yoga pants in Whole Foods? How right. many? There's so 55 percent, I would say. <laughs> I at would. Least. You're right. I mean, it's true. I'm, I'm just like we all do yoga. I mean, I'm just here for like a quick, <laughs> a quick visit. But the rest of us you sure surely are doing well and do yoga. <laughs> uh, all right. So look, she's telling you, uh, Joanna, why to vote? Look at a Venezuela. A country, let's go to the globe. Oh, wow. Wow, we have a globe. There it is. It's right right there, up there. Yeah. Right up here. I look mm-hmm. at South America, right at the top. Nice mm-hmm. and big. Nice and big. Car- <laughs> Caracas is uh, the capital. Little yeah, fun that's fact. Where, that's where I'm from. Right? Oh, wow, from the capital. Look at you. Yeah, I know. I'm a capital girl. <laughs> <laughs> so you would, uh, you would go down through Mexico and then go to the right a little bit. That, that's how I got there, yes. <laughs> yeah, so not too far away. You have what could be the most dangerous place on the planet mm-hmm. because what? Because you had a couple of dictators that uh, you didn't fight against fast enough. Yeah. Right. Or you thought weren't going to be dangerous or you you just assumed everything was going to be fine. Right. Uh, it, it, I reiterate, it, is, it, it really is our responsibility to, to, to do what we can for the place that where we live. Also, I don't want to leave the U.S. Like, uh, I already immigrated right. once. You know what I'm saying? And I don't yeah. know where else I would go. <laughs> Maybe Canada, but it's super cold. It's cold there. Although, Prime Minister is... Mm-mm, hot. Good looking. The and, irony. Um, <laughs> awesome. And I hear he fucks all his constituents. Yeah, Wait, he has sex with them if you voted for him, yeah. Oh, that's not what it is. <laughs> Got it. Great. That makes sense to me. That's like a thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Trump says if you vote for him, he'll fuck you, but that's uh, different, right? No, I don't like that. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, uh, Trump. What a joke. What a, I <laughs> mean, it's it's not funny, but it it, it, it once this is over, it'll it'll, it'll be, be funny. funny. It'll if be it funny. is over. And isn't it nice that if obviously Bill Clinton was president. Now the wife's going to be president. Now this How is a beautiful. power couple. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. minus the, they don't have sex. I think but it's other the most that, powerful couple in the world. <laughs> in I the guess. world. Right. Also, we don't know their sex life. Yeah, I have a clue. We don't know their sex life. <laughs> Do we we don't know it. We don't know I it. can't say. Can you for sure? I yeah. got to say, I don't <laughs> want to know is, it. Is there a unicorn out in the hallway? Can I say for sure? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean though? It's like, who really knows? Right. And I'm also just like, what a team. What a team. And remember how good the country was doing when Clinton was in office? Anyone? It was it was thriving. We were thriving. I'll I mean, say they were thriving. slap bracelets. Absolutely. Backstreet boys. I think Furbies were coming Furbies, about. Furbies, Tamagotchis. It was a good time for everybody. It was a good everybody. time. And though. that was all, if people forget, that was all the first ladies' initiatives. Exactly. Was, She's for oh, children all the time. Yeah. Children toys, you know? Everybody's loving this Michelle Obama. What'd she do? She turned a triangle into a circle. Eat off this. <laughs> oh, God, I know how to eat off things. You know what I mean? But no. <gasps> right. But, but we had slap. Why well, you said that? Well, <laughs> slap bracelets. That's right. <laughs> Crazy. I do love Michelle. I know. I love her. Unbelievable. <laughs> her arms. But if wow. the Clintons are fucking, that'd be the weird thing. <laughs> we can all admit that. All right. Now, here's what I'm saying. Look at Joanna's videos. Okay? Yeah. I, I do. I like them. Are you calling me a piece of shit? <laughs> I'm sure there are some Trump supporters Wait. out there calling us a piece of a piece of shit. I mean, I've got some of those on my on my uh, videos. That's good, though. Every time you get hate, it means that... I get hate from the Chavistas, like the the government, Venezuelan government supporters, and from Trump supporters. Those are the two people that hate on me the most. And I'm like, I guess I'm doing something right. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Like- <laughs> right. Look at the friend of your friend. That's right. a good one, right? I like that. Yeah. Friend of a friend. If you happen to be hanging out, you know? this, this guy's hanging out with six assholes. Right. Putin being in his body off. is something. Yeah, it's of note. Off. I know. It's of note. It's true. Uh, Joanna Hossman. The Twitter account is her name, J O A N N A H A U S M A N N. It's the most complicated spelling of that. <laughs> it's the worst. I'm sorry. I say, if I'm not out of line, Joanna Haas Woman. I think you've earned it. Thank you so much. Wow, that's, that's an upgrade, yeah. mm-hmm. honestly. Well, for sure. <laughs> uh, JoannaHaasman.com, of course, is the website as well. And uh, check out Flama and her uh, her videos. They're they're viral. Joanna Rance, you also want to look at the bi-weekly show, lets you know what's going on in this big old world of ours. What is going on? What's happening? Oh, wait, sometimes it's like we're just thinking Wall Street to Main Street. Wow. But there's mm-hmm. a lot more streets out there. There's a lot of streets out there. Right? Yeah. Do you guys have paved roads? 
You know, we do. Okay. okay. We do have paved roads. Okay. So it's we not also all bad. Have, but we, we ride uh, turtles to school and work, and um, <laughs> <laughs> we live in tree houses, so. Okay. You know. Well. She's also a correspondent on Bill Nye's new Netflix show, Bill Nye Saves the World, that will air in spring 2017 if we're all still around. Oh, <laughs> God, I hope so. <laughs> and then what do we do to get your uncle out? Uh, Maybe not be uh, such smart asses here in America. Yeah, Maybe you and great. your dad could shut the fuck up. Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> please stop. Um, I think I would say uh, be aware of it. Uh, right now, we're doing everything we can to get him out. Um, but just be aware that these things are happening and um, retweet me when I tweet about it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to get like a, a really important person's attention. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jesse, thank you very much. Well, thank you so much. Jesse Jawless. You can find her website. J-E-S-S-I-E-J-O-L-L-E-S is her Twitter account. Thank you. And that's what's going on. And Jesse, uh, let's, uh, we'll do this again tomorrow and the next day. Yeah. Have fun. Let's have fun. Yeah. That's I my love thing. Jesse. Uh, I think she's my favorite. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's all right. Uh, Bless you. Well, you didn't have to say it was between us. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, good luck, USA. 